in the video. Today we're going to run through uh, some of the loot that I got from the recent Hallowed Expedition. So let's jump right into it. So right here you're seeing the mythic item that comes from the Gugamens portal. In my opinion, this is the best um, weapon that you can get for a DPS player. Um, in tier 9, who knows what tier 10 is going to have, but for right now, um, the reason why it's the best is because it has a, a skill where you can attack the target enemy and it hits three times, so if you pair this with a healing pet, um, I've seen this skill basically heal my team almost a full in, in raids. So, that guy right there, and then also, I don't use it as much as I probably should, but you can shield yourself or teammates for a considerable amount, so that's also very helpful there too. Typically, I do better if I just use the attack to um, to proc the Urga for proc the healing pet. But there you go, you get a nice combination of damage and healing, so that's very powerful. But nice to have that pretty good uh, cosmetic that you can kind of see in the background here as well. And I spent a good amount of time farming the X5 portal to try to get him working. Um, I actually got four of these guys, and while this is not an item that is used frequently, it's kind of good to have. You never know what the future sets are going to hold if I ever do go DPS with the new DPS and tank balancing changes. We shall see. Pretty cool cosmetic, um, which I am not showing. So, Anywho, other things. I got a good amount of the Featherfall sets. But I didn't bother uh, keeping any of them. I did salvage them. And I've got a handful of these Hellfire sets here, too. But kind of nice to have around, um, depending on what the future holds for us. What you're probably looking forward to is seeing what I did with the schematics. So I actually got the X5 schematic faster and easier than I got the Goog schematic. But, you know, that's kind of RNG talk in there. If the Tier 10 content wasn't announced um, at this past reset, I would probably be going knee deep back into raid 4 kind of farming out the previous boss so while that's going to be a painful endeavor um, I will eventually do it and we'll just probably be seeing that after the the new tier 10 content gets cleared through and we all get geared up um, speaking of raids so from raid 6 you can get the Stratos um, Stratos he is probably I think 70 dew drops away from from being complete so I probably will be able to finish him before the new content comes out so I'm hopeful and if and when I do I'll, I'll cut a video on him and and show what he's good for I'm actually expecting them to do some changes to um, tank familiars as part of the rebalancing between tanks and DPS's because I think that's where the main disparity is in solo content is just that these tank familiars can't really compete with uh, with characters you know 50% damage reduction when I can get up to 80% of my character doesn't quite hold up and he doesn't have any pet proc on him but he wouldn't be a main tank anyway currently I use two plus five walk -ohms. they have a really fun skill set the empower chance is nice so it's like the epitome of a glass cannon um, that said if they get uh, reflected or deflected then they'll easily one shot themselves if you don't have a redirect because their stamina is so low that's why Gugamens is pretty exciting because he's easy to make. I'm just one away from making my fourth. And similar bonus here, but his stat distribution is such that um, he's not going to one-shot him himself. If he does get deflected, he's got a good heal. And he also has this pet proc down here where if you couple it with his attack all if you're hitting four or five enemies you can imagine how much shielding you can actually get out it's it's not a ton but um, we'll see how significant it actually is but I was going to make three of this guy and I'm very close to making a fourth and then if I ever do end up farming up the rest of the epic familiars I should probably be able to get him to plus five um, if the next hallowed comes out so we'll see but he's, he's a fun one and uh, we'll put him in action now. I did get the Clodius, but unfortunately, since he shares the crafting materials with the X5, it's unlikely that I'll ever be able to make him because X5 takes 600 per pop, and you know every little bit counts. If you do forego making X5, this is a really fun familiar that you can use in PvP. He's got no stamina, but his speed is so high that you'll probably attack twice before you even get hit. And if you have one or two of these guys, you're going to easily snipe out the enemy team. He's also got he's also got a shield proc here, and considering that he's got dual strike and he's got multiple attacks on his on his hits, you you will be able to get um, a decent amount of shielding going off. It's just not going to be a ton of shielding, 
but he's a fun one. If you want to use him PvP, go for it, especially if you're not going to use those cogs to make um, to make the X5. But that pretty much wraps up all of the schematics. Let's kind of jump into a, a duel just to see these guys attack and kind of see some of their combat animations. Yes, I did coordinate my, my uh, cosmetic with these guys to kind of show them off a little bit. But, I don't know, I've been looking forward to this. I probably won't be using this guy until I get him stabled up a little bit higher because of the walk There's There is a fairly big disparity between the stats of a plus 5 familiar and a plus 3 or plus 2 familiar. But uh, it is nice to have and maybe it will be handy in the new content looking forward. So that will wrap it up for this video. appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.